Hello everyone, this question is about tree data structure. Part A. This question asks you to write about tree data structure with help of a diagram. So what you have to remember is it is compulsory to draw the diagram. If you do not give a diagram, that means you will get half of the marks. So a tree data structure is a data structure that emulates a hierarchical tree structure with a set of linked nodes. So here you see there are a number of nodes and nodes are marked using uh, uh, letters from the alphabet and then we have links to connect all those nodes. So it does not matter if you use any other letters or any other numbers to name the nodes. Whatever, whatever you draw should be a tree uh, data structure. And part two, it asks you to uh, write about the root of a tree. Root of a tree is a unique node which every tree has. So for this tree, the root node is A and uh, you can give the explanation about the root and then you can mention uh, whatever the root node you have in your tree diagram. You don't have to draw, as I told you before, you don't have to draw the same tree diagram here. Uh, you can draw any other tree diagram. However, you have to mention your uh, root. That means the root node according to your dia diagram. And the parent of a node. So in this diagram, there are, there are a number of parents uh, and there are a number of children. So for every child there's a unique parent so you can take number of children and you can mention who are the parents of those uh, children for an example here if we take this uh, uh, e node that can be said as a child and it has a node before that node so b is a parent and here in uh, this three child nodes we you can see that uh, f h f g and h ha are the uh, children of c that means c is a parent and here in this uh, uh, section d is the parent of i and j and h is the parent of m e is the parent of k and l like that you can mention any parent you like to mention and children of a node when we take a parent there can there are children for that parent so according to this uh, diagram i can take uh, uh, letter i and letter j as the children of parent d so you can take any parent you prefer and give the children of that parent and the sibling sibling means the nodes which has the same parent for an example in this tree diagram uh, nodes i and j has the same uh, parent so the parent of i and j is d and for uh, nodes f g and h the parent is c and uh, there and for node k and l the parent is e therefore we can say these uh, set of children are siblings because all those children has the same parent For a leaf of a tree, we have uh, no children. Therefore, uh, for the bottom line of this tree, that means K, L, and uh, in this branch, we can consider F and G. And for the other branch, we can consider about M. And, and uh, from the other section, we can take I and J. So all those are the leaf nodes because uh, if we consider those nodes we cannot see any children thereafter. Question B 
define the following terminologies related to tree data structure. You have to define the size of a tree, depth of a node, and height of a tree, and degree of a node. So size of a tree, size of a tree means the number of node it contains, and depth of a node means number of edges from the root to the node, and height of a tree means the largest depth of any of its nodes. And the degree of a node is the number of children which that node has. Part C, explain the following special trees. There are two trees mentioned. First one is binary tree and the other one is binary search tree. So if you compare these two, there is a small difference. And uh, there are certain com things that can be taken as common features for the binary tree and binary search tree both uh, has uh, two children for one particular node for for the so for the binary tree we can give the definition a binary tree is a rooted tree in which no node can have more than two children so for one particular node it cannot have more than two children so in the second option, binary search tree, that means for the binary search tree also, you can't have more than two children. And again, in addition to that condition, there are two things you have to consider. When you take left subtree, the values or the keys in that subtree are less than the uh, node which you consider. And when you take a node, the right subtree of that node has values greater than that node value. So when you explain, clearly mentioned for the binary tree, what you have to mention is there are only two children for one particular node. And for the binary search tree, you have to include that uh, Binary search tree also can have two children for one particular node as well as there are two conditions which are mentioned as uh, this. Part D, insert the following data set into a binary search tree. So here we have given with this data uh, number 13, 3, 4, 12, 14, 10, 5, 1, 8, 2, 7, and 9. So when you insert this data to a binary search tree, you should have to consider uh, the conditions we have for a binary search tree. So here let's start with number 13. So the first number we get is 13. And then the second value we have is 3. So when we compare with number 13, 3 is less than number 13. Therefore, it goes to left hand side. And next number is number 4. So we are going to start. We have to uh, pass that number from the root of the tree. So the root of the tree is this one, number 13. So 4 is uh, less than 13. And then I'm coming into this left side. And when I compare number 4 with number 3, number 4 is greater than. That means I have to go to the right hand side. And then I can mark number 4. And next number is number 12. So when we start from the root, Number 12 is less than 13, therefore left hand side. And 12 is greater than 3, that means right hand side. 12 is greater than 4, that means again right hand side. And we can mark number 12. And then we have number 14, that means uh, it is greater than number 13, therefore it should have to go to the right hand side of number 13. Next number is number 10. So when we start from the root, number 10 again less than 13. That means 
left. When we compare number 10 with 3, that means greater than 3, right hand side. And 10 is greater than 4, right hand side. And 10 is less than 12, that means left hand side. Next number is number 5. 5 is less than 13, that means it should come to left hand side. 5 is greater than 3, right hand side. 5 is greater than 4, right hand side. 5 is less than 12, left hand side. And 5 is less than 10, that means again left hand side. Next number is 1. 1 is less than 13. It should go to left and it is less than 3 again to the left and then mark 1. Next number is 8. 8 is less than 13 that means to the left. 8 is greater than 3 to the right. 8 is greater than 4 to the right. 8 is less than 12 left. 8 is less than 10 left. And 8 is greater than 5, that means right. Next one is number 2. Number 2 is less than 13, left. Number 2 is less than 3, that means left. And number 2 is greater than 1, that means right. Next number is number 7. Number 7 is less than 13, left. Number 7 is greater than 3, that means right. Number 7 is greater than 4, that means right. Number 7 is less than 12, that means left. Uh, number 7 is less than 10, that means left. 7 is greater than 5, that means right. 7 is less than 8, that means left. And the last number is number 9. Again, now if we start from this place. Number 9 is less than 13, left, greater than 3, right, greater than 4, right, less than 12, left, less than 10, left, greater than 5, right, greater than 8, that means again right. So now we have completed the inserting all the numbers and this is the diagram we have for the binary search tree. For part E, you have to diagrammatically explain the implementation of binary tree. So here you have to draw the implementation. That means you have to show how uh, these nodes linked with each other. So here we have uh, if we take one particular node, we have three sections, one section for the data and two sections for links. So here, uh, if you remember linked list, in a linked list, if we consider a double linked list, we can have prim node and next node, which are connected to previous and next nodes. Likewise, here we have uh, a place to link to right side and a place to link to left hand side and in the middle we have our data value so here we have set of example data 6 4 5 2 3 uh, 8 7 and 9 in this diagram if you consider the values you have here all the values you see in uh, Right subtrees are greater than the values you have in left subtree. For an example, here consider the consider number six and eight is greater than number six, therefore eight is in the right hand side, and four is less than six, therefore four is in the left hand side. Likewise, in for, likewise for these two nodes, five is greater than that means it is in the right hand side of the four and uh, 2 is left hand side because 2 is less than number 4. Likewise, we, you can uh, give whatever the value you have selected according to the 
rule which we have considered in binary search tree uh, and the important thing is not like in the tree diagram in implementation you have to use this arrow notation because we mention about pointers here this right node is pointed to the right subtree and this left node is pointed to the left subtree so pointed to the means we are using a pointer here that means the arrow head uh, showing right and left subtrees and when you don't have when you don't have any subtrees derived from a node you can use slash for an example here for this number nine there are no subtrees for left or right hand sides therefore we use slashes here